everyone, today's video is going to be an unboxing of my monthly boxy charm. And the theme for this month is makeup is art. Um, which is kind of an arbitrary thing, but hey, we'll go with it, no problem there. It's May, there's nothing super exciting. I mean, graduation's actually happening. My little brother just graduated from college, so there are some things going on. Um, but you know, can't knock that. And Bucky Charm is a $21 a month subscription service. And this month I got five items, and that's generally how many you get. So let's just go ahead and go over the items. Um, and I have used all of these once, so I can kind of give you my thoughts, but it's not necessarily a thorough review. Um, and the first thing I got is this highlighting and contour palette by IBY Beauty. I'm not sure if it's IBY or IBY, but we're going to say IBY because I think it sounds better. This contour palette is $40. It is very, very reminiscent of the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. Now you have three matte highlighting shades on the top and they're just called highlight one, two, and three. And you can see we kind of have like a yellowy toned, a neutral, and like a peachy toned. Again, neutral yellow peach. And they are very nicely pigmented um, and they're all matte and they all work as a highlight for my light skin tone. And then we have three contour shades. Contour one, which is kind of a pinky, pinky shade. Contour two, which is an orangey shade. And contour three, which is a very cool toned dark shade. All right. One, two, and three. And you can see they do all work. Um, I definitely use contour three today because I just think that looks better for my skin tone. Um, and I like a cool tone contour, as most people do. Uh, and then I used contour two to kind of bronze up my neck. This is fine. And again, it's $40, which is double the value, almost double the value of the whole box. It's just, I don't know if I really need three matte highlight shades that pretty much will all do the same thing for my skin tone. And then three contour shades will all really probably only use one. Now, I do have to applaud them. This does work for all, I think this would work well. And you could use all six shades if you have a light skin tone. I don't believe, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that they sent multiple shades of this contour palette out. And there's not a shade for this contour palette, so I don't even know if IBY Beauty makes multiple. So while this works fine for me, if you have a deeper skin tone, you might not be able to use any of these products at all, which is definitely disappointing. I also wish they would have included at least one sparkly, like, shimmery highlight, um, because I don't really feel the need for three matte highlights. I think they all do the same thing. So... Um, I'm excited to have this. It's definitely similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour one, which would make me not want to get that one. And they are a similar price, but I just don't really know if I'll use all that. And to kind of go with that, they gave us the Crown Round Contour Brush in this little cover, which I won't keep on it because if you see, if you use the cover, then you get some makeup on it. But I'll probably use it for like traveling and stuff. And this is just one of those oval round brushes. These have become very popular recently. And I've been super intrigued to have one. And I do have quite a few crown brushes that I really enjoy. And this is no exception. It is insanely, insanely soft. And it's got a decent amount of give to it without being flimsy. I feel like it's, it's like a medium one where you, you don't have no give. Oh my, that was very good English. Where it's not like it's so rough that you, you're not really moving it. But you also have enough it's not so flimsy that you're just making a really streaky look. I used this today to apply my BB cream, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it blended out really nicely. It was super fast. Um, the one thing is this handle is kind of flimsy, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I felt like I was afraid I was going to break it while I was using it. So that's the one downside, but it was nice. This is $24.99, so it's a lot cheaper than like the Artiste ones, but there are also cheaper ones available. But I like crown brush, so I was excited to have that. Then we have a like kind of, these were two separate products, but they kind of definitely go together. And they're both by the brand Brow Gal. Um, and you have the Convertible Brow Palette in the shade number two, which is worth $35. And the Brow Brush, which is worth $14. And it's also by the Brow Gal. The Brow Brush has like a, a typical kind of angled brush and then a spoolie. Anastasia Beverly Hills again makes a brush very similar to that. I want to say it's called their number 12 brush. And inside the palette, you have three shades. A very orange toned brown, an ashy toned, and then just kind of a neutral deep shade. I used this shade today in my brows, and I think it looks pretty good. 
Now it's called convertible brow because it says you can kind of mix it and make it a pomade. It makes me very nervous to put liquid on an actual palette because I'm afraid I'm just going to ruin it. So what I did is I sprayed the brush and I did that on this eyebrow and not on this eyebrow. I think it just made it slightly more pigmented. I didn't get like a pomade like feel. Um, so I, I don't really know about that. And I really feel like if you spray any kind of powder, you're going to get more pigmentation. So I will swatch. Again, we have kind of an orange tone, a very ashy tone, and then a deep shade. And these are decently pigmented. They're not overly pigmented. But for a brow product, that's not terrible. There we go. So they have nice pigmentation. That's not bad. Um, and I do enjoy it. I just don't know that I'll use all three of these shades. Kind of similarly to the highlighting kit. I don't know that I need all three, if that makes sense. And the brush is nice as well. This really works really nice. Big, oh, well, not to do that. Okay, big fan. And then the last thing I have, I've already kind of swatched it, but I'll put some more on, is the Tim2 Beauty and BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. Now, in case you don't know, Tim2 Beauty is a airbrush system. So I use this today under my makeup and as well as a highlight. So there it is, and you can kind of see just swatched out. It's very metallic, and then when you actually blend it in, it does give a nice glow. It's not ultra metallic, but it is nice. It's very subtle to where I don't feel ridiculous wearing it under my skin, under my foundation, and you don't see any glitter in it. Now, I do think it works. I'm so sweaty, guys. It is super hot in Georgia right now. Um, I do think it gives a nice glow to the skin, um, but it's not overly pigmented. It's dusky right now, so I think it's kind of showing up a little more. But in real life, it's just kind of a natural glow. It's not overly ba bam in your face, but I don't think it's a bad thing. It is very, very liquidy, which kind of makes it hard to use. It's very reminiscent to me of my Borghese Splendor Brightening Makeup. In case you don't know, I'm doing a project pan, and this is in my 4x4 the 4th of July. It's my Amber Waves of Grain product. These two are really similar, but the Borghese one is slightly more metallic, um, but they're both very liquidy and kind of hard to use. This Borghese one was actually mentioned in my five least favorite highlighters, so I don't love it. Um, and, it and the reason I don't love it is because of its, it's not easy to use. Um, but if you like the idea of this and you think, oh wow, I don't have BoxyCharm so I missed out on it, the Borghese one is worth the same amount. They're both worth $30. So, this is okay, which is kind of how I feel about this whole box. Um, like I said, I paid $21 for this box, and it is valued at $143.49, which is a return of your investment seven times. So that's pretty dang good. Well, not exactly. Seven times would be $147, so we're $3.51 short, but you know what I'm saying. We're pretty dang close. Um, and it is a nice box. I love this brush. This is definitely my favorite item. And I do like this brush as well. I don't know how I feel about getting two makeup brushes in the same box. I don't know about all that. But that's really fine. They're very different. So, you know. Um, the, with the highlighting kit and the brow kit, I like them. Okay, if I could flip this the right way. There we go. I do like them both. I think they're both very nice. My issue is I don't know that I'm going to use all of these shades. I feel like it's a little redundant and unnecessary for me. I'm not a pro makeup artist. I just have this one face. However, I kind of said the same thing about this Measurable Difference Concealer Collection palette that I got last month. I was like, I'm not going to use all these. And I do, and I love it. And this was actually in my monthly favorites. So, if you are interested in that, go ahead and I'll link that video down below. Um, so, maybe I will. And the other thing about last month's box that I thought was worth mentioning is I did get a highlighter last month as well. This was a powder highlighter from Ofer Cosmetics Rodeo Drive. It's super hyped up here on YouTube and it's super beautiful, don't get me wrong. But we got two highlighters in two months. Now I am very aware that one's powder and one's liquid and also that highlighting is a super huge trend right now. So they're just trying to stay on trend. I get that, I respect that, but I do think it's worth mentioning. So all in all, I think this is an okay box. I definitely do think it was worth the $21. I'm just a little disappointed because I don't know that I'm going to get as much use out of all these products as I would like, if that makes sense. But all in all, it is still a good box. Um, I still really like BoxyCharm. 
So yeah, that's really all I have for you. If you have any other questions, requests, suggestions, comments, as always, go ahead and leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see other unboxings, I'll link that whole playlist down below, as well as what I have on my face, if you want to know about that. So I think that's all I have for y'all today, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.